Hey guys, uh, making a video because I had a request to, to put this up. Uh, I got this all mountain frame protection kit and I'm going to apply it today and I'm going to show you how to do it. So first step is to clean your frame. You need to clean all the dirt and oils and whatever is on there. Clean that off. I use a spray bottle of uh, rubbing alcohol that I have here. Just basic rubbing alcohol you can buy at the store. Put that in a spray bottle and wipe down my frame so everything's clean on there. Get all the dirt off from underneath. I'm going to use that sticker that's been there for a few years so I'm going to keep that on there. I'm going to leave that and uh, put the big part of it, the big part of the frame protection kit here right above that so then I'll have protection the whole down tube but and then I'm gonna put these little chevron shaped pieces up here where the scratch is you can see that I leaned it against a post and scratched the hell out of it like a week after I got the bike so I'm gonna leave it on there I was thinking about touching it up with paint but it would drive me crazy because I'll never find the right color and uh, if I put a sticker over it I don't know it'll look goofy so I'm just gonna wear it as a proud badge of I screwed up and leaned it against a post <laughs> so we're gonna wear it and uh, and then I've got all these four little pieces here Can you see that it's hard to see four pieces there that are slimmer that's gonna go with seat stay and chain stay here and then there is a another piece in the bottom corner there that I believe will go here around to prevent cable rub. So that's where I'm going to put those. It's kind of hard for me to choose where I wanted those pieces to go. So that's what I've decided on and now we're going to do it. So step one, I'm going to do the... Uh, the down tube first, I believe. We'll do that. So I'm gonna put you over here. And peel this off. So I got my big piece here. I'm gonna be careful not to touch the adhesive. Touch the middle already. All right. Let's start up here, and then I'm gonna take my thumb and just start to rub it down the middle, straight down the down tube. Sorry guys, this is going to be a one-time shot, but it's hard to do both ways here. Or both video and doing this. So I got my line down the middle. Now I'm just gonna work from the center line out to the edges and just rub it in. Make all that adhesive stick and hopefully shouldn't get any bubbles. So you kind of see what I'm what I've got going there. See I just started in the middle, work my way down. Just to rub it right down the middle. And then I'll just take my thumb 
just work out to the edges. Now one thing I've noticed is that the top top bit right here has a bit of a curve there. And I'm up above the curve, so it needs to go I'm kind of right in the middle of that curve. And that seems to not wanna this is really thick stuff. It's honeycombed. Um so I might have to hit that with a heat gun. Kind of heat it up and maybe it'll flex in there a little bit smoother. I'm going to work the rest of it though. And of course I've screwed it up because I didn't get it center. This side is just a couple of millimeters over that green to black line. You can't, you probably can't see it, but it's only a couple millimeters over the line there of the paint and where the other side is probably, I don't know, closer to 10 millimeters over. So of course I've already screwed it up. Because it's not center, but that's okay. Whatever. It's gonna get scraped up and scratched up, and I'm sure someday down the line I'll have to replace it again. All right. Now, toward the top here, and dealing with that part. So, I'm gonna try the heat gun on this. And maybe it'll soften it up. It'll be uh, a little more pliable. So, got my heat gun over here. Plug that in. Let's try this out. to see the one side deform a little bit so it won't take much sorry my hands hand camera skills are not very good I'll try to do this one-handed all right that seemed to seem to soften up and mold right in there Okay. This is terrible video shooting, but I'm doing my best. Okay, I'm gonna clean that off again. All right, spray some more alcohol on my rag here. I'm gonna wipe it off again because I've touched it. Make sure all the, if there's any sticker adhesive on your bike or any water spots or any anything that's going to, any little thing that's going to be permanently entombed under the, the frame protection kit if you don't take care to clean it off. So, I'm going to do this. I already went over this. I cleaned all this stuff and I'm finding new things. I 
know what that's from. All right. I'm going to take the big one, the biggest one now. And find the gap and get down the center line. What do you think? Looks pretty good, I think. Okay, I'm just going to rub straight down the middle. And then work your way out. Make sure you get all the air bubbles out. I think sometimes with applying these things, it's maybe a good idea to get a bunch of stickers and practice sticking them to stuff, whether it's your bike or car or truck or whatever, just to, to kind of know how bubbles form and where, where the stuff is going to end up, maybe in rounded spots in corners or stuff like that, so you know kind of how to predict how it's going to react and what to do about it to fix it. Like I said, with the heat gun, I've noticed with the uh, stickers that sometimes stickers don't want to form into spots, but if you use a heat gun, which you can get at most hardware stores or um, Walmart, whatever, you can get one for pretty cheap, and that helps, helps a lot with either removing stickers or applying them into rounded spots. All right, that looks pretty cool. All right, so I've got the got it all done now. So I did the seat stay and the chain stay. So I've got this spot had a couple of scratches already in the paint, so it's got a couple of little bubbles, but not too bad. And then this is the new seat stay, so it didn't come with. See how on the chain stay here, it's got this black uh, rubber that that's from the factory, and the seat stay had one that was up under here. So what I did was kind of use one of those frame protection pieces right along this corner here for the chain, and it goes all the way up to here. So that should take place of the, uh, the original uh, rubber part that was on there. So that should protect that. And then come over here and I put it on over here. I never really had, I've always laid my stuff on the non-drive side. So, I, but I've never really had uh, scratches on seat stays or chain stays on the non-drive side. Usually laying on the pedal so it doesn't really have too much of a problem over on this side and this one was up to this spot here all the way back covers that and just kind of hooks in nicely to uh, the weld I got some bad lighting there you go all right so I got all that done and then I put this other rectangle piece up here to protect from cables, and that goes that goes almost all the way around. There to there, there to about there, and that cable is going to ride right there, so that should be perfect. All right, so that was it, and uh, yes, this is my laundry room, so. My laundry room slash winter workshop when when it's snowing outside I'm down in the basement working on bikes and uh, as you can see I like my stuff organized and clean and it makes it a lot easier for working on bikes and everything else so hope uh, video was informational and uh, helps you out if you're gonna put any uh, frame protection on your bike 
I would definitely recommend getting a heat gun because I found out doing this that it's probably a good idea to warm up the spot a little bit first before you stick that on. That'll help. Um, and then, like I said earlier, using that heat gun to warm up the, the sticker and make it mold into spots where it normally wouldn't. So heat gun definite must have for applying frame protection and uh, any other stickers or if you're removing stickers it makes it easier too. So definitely get you one of those. You can get one for 10 bucks, 15 bucks, pretty cheap. So all right guys, have a good day and we'll see you next time.